بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد an important issue for us to take a look at is regarding the fasting of our children our children that are not responsible for fasting meaning that they haven't reached the age of puberty and it was the action of the Salaf of this Ummah and according to the majority of the four Madahib, meaning the the Malikiya or the, the Hanafiya, the Malikiya, the Shafi'iya and the Hanabila or the, that they all recommended to try to teach the children to fast that they should allow them to fast with the condition that they're able to do so meaning it's not going to cause them harm if a child is able to and they've reached a certain age they're coming close to puberty then in order to to teach them about fasting you can have them fast as long as it's not going to cause them any harm and what some people do is allow their children to fast half a day especially if they're they're very young maybe they're seven eight and they're still far from puberty then maybe they'll fast half a day or something just to get into the habit and that fasting won't be such a foreign thing for them when they come of age and in a, a, a hadith authentic hadith in Bukhari that the Prophet وسلم, sent uh, some of his companions to a village and some of them fasted and some of them didn't and it doesn't say I, I'm assuming it's probably not the month of Ramadan it was not the month of Ramadan Wallahu alam. And the point being in this hadith is that they said, "Fakunna nusomuhu bad when nusowim sibyanina." So we used to fast it. Some, you know, we we used to fast, and our uh, our children also would fast. So this let us know that the Prophet Sallallahu allowed for the children to fast and again with the condition if they are able to do so another issue that that comes up so what if your child your son or daughter they become of age during Ramadan during the time of fasting so for example if they during the month of Ramadan they hit pu they reach puberty then the ulama, they say, most of the ulama hold this view, that if they uh, reach puberty during the month of Ramadan, that they should, from the time they reach puberty, they should begin fasting. And they are not responsible for making up the rest of the month, what they miss. Say, for example, the 12th day of Ramadan, your son enters, uh, reaches puberty. Then they would finish, on, on, depending on when they reach puberty, at, at what point in the day, if it was in the evening of the uh, 12th day of Ramadan, then of course they wouldn't fast that day, they would begin fasting the, the next day, the 13th. And they wouldn't be responsible for the 14th or, or any of those other days and they would just fast the, the rest of the holy month of Ramadan but if they reached puberty for example at Dhuhr time in, in the mid right around the midday in the mid middle of the day of, uh, of the twelfth day of Ramadan for example then from that time that they reached Puberty, meaning at, at Dhuhr, they, 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 maybe they, before Dhuhr, he had a wet dream, Ikramakum Allah, or something like this, and he entered puberty. Then, 
from that time, he would fast. He would fast the rest of the day. And he would not be responsible for making up that day, nor what came before it. And this is the the statement of most of the ulama. And, you, and you'll find this in uh, Ibn Qudama, rahimahullah ta'ala, uh, detailed this issue in his book called Al-Mughni, which is a, a very important book in comparative fiqh on the madhab of uh, Imam Ahmed, rahimahumullah jami'an. So those are some of the important things and related to uh, related to the uh, month of Ramadan and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with ikhlas with thabat and bless us with aqolin sadida wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam